Well, hello and welcome to my shop. My name is Dima. And in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to make one of these wooden desk calendars. These make really good gifts for virtually anyone. So if you wanna make one, go ahead and download the PDF plans and you can find a link down in the description. Well, let's get started. So for this project, I decided to go with walnut for the case and cherry for the date and the month blocks. Now I've already got my walnut planed down from a previous project to half an inch and a quarter inch. All I have left to do is to rip and cut this cherry and plane it down to thickness. So the first block that I cut out of that cherry piece is going to be for the date, you know, the number blocks, which is going to be a square piece. And the second block that I cut out, which will be ripped in half in both directions to be the month blocks. So what I do is all I do is I find the center of that block. And then I just scribe a line all the way down the center so that way when I cut it on the bandsaw, I can just follow that line. And here I'm just splitting it right down the middle following that line and I'm going to also split it down the other side middle to get four pieces out of that one piece of block. I'm not going to show cutting the other side because it's pretty much self-explanatory. There you go, I got four pieces. For this project I'm just going to use one, uh, but you can use four if you're going to do multiples. Now I'm just planing them down to the right thickness, you know, checking the dimensions as I go. Once everything's good, I move on to the next piece, which is the date block, which is numbers. Uh, and I just make sure that that's the right thickness also, and if it's not, I just plane it down to the thickness that I need and move on. So now that we got our stock for our month blocks cut and the stock for our day blocks, we can go ahead and start cutting all the pieces before gluing everything up. So here I'm cutting out the base for uh, the display itself. And now I'm measuring out and cutting the two sides for the display or the calendar. Using a stop block I make sure that both left and right side are the same thickness or width. And then I cut out the piece that's going to complete the back of the calendar. So once all those are cut and complete, I move on to cutting the, the month blocks and the day blocks. And I use a stop block once again to cut four pieces. The reason why I cut four pieces is that one of them is going to be actually glued in at the front to complete the box. And three of them will be used for the months. So as you can see, I'm using the stock for the number block. Uh, to adjust the thickness that I'm going to cut and I'm using a stop block there that's just going to ensure that when I cut that block it's going to be a perfect cube and I'll need two for this project but you can cut as many as you want if you're working on multiple projects So here I'm adjusting the height of the blade to an eighth of an inch to cut the rabbit for my pieces to make sure that my glue joints will be nice and strong. I'm using a stop lock to make sure that, that they're all nice and consistent.
So right now it's probably a good idea to sand all the inside parts of the project so that way when you glue it up you won't have access to some of those parts. A dry fit is always a good idea right before any glue up. And then go ahead and apply your glue. So just apply some clamps to make the joints nice and tight. And while the glue is drying, go ahead and switch into your robot mode and sand the month blocks and the day blocks to get them ready for the text transfer. This is where robot mode becomes useful in your shop. Do a little bit of light sanding once the project is nice and dry. As you can see here, I printed the month text and the the numbers in reverse mode on my laser printer. This will not work on a inkjet printer. And here I'm just using the acetone to transfer the image. Here I'm just inspecting to make sure everything looks nice and good. To move on to the month blocks. And I use the same method, I do an acetone transfer with the reverse text that I printed on my laser printer. So now is a good time to make sure that everything fits uh, for the final time before you apply a finish of your choice. So there's plenty of ways you can add the numbers and the months on the blocks. You can either engrave them, you can hand sketch them if you want to make them a little bit more personal, you can use a laser etcher, or you could buy those stamps that, you know, if you want to punch out a whole bunch of these, buy a stamp kit and just stamp them out. I chose this method because all you need is a printer and no other special tools except acetone. Well thanks for watching. I truly appreciate you tuning in and watching my video. If you liked the video, let me know by giving me a thumbs up, comment down below if you got any additional questions that I can answer for you, and subscribe if you haven't done so right here. And don't forget, the free PDF plans are available for download and you can find the link down in the description. Well, have fun in the shop, but be safe doing it. See you next time.